How have you seen the, the team just bounce back in the last couple of days? Uh, yeah, just, you know, um, you know, on, on Saturday, uh, you know, we talked about the process, but it didn't necessarily show. Uh, so, you know, part of going one to know is, is, you know, winning every rep and, and being one to know in every rep. So just getting back to the process and competing. Jamal, the uh, game you had, I mean, with Dylan, is that how much of a display of a good connection or for you guys building was that? No, it was amazing. Um, you know, it just all the work we put in um, just showed up and it's going to continue to show up. So. And Coach Satterfield said that there's been a big emphasis on making sure that everybody, you know, comes down with the ball, catches the ball strong. And yeah. Obviously, you weren't a part of it, but there have been two catches, two interceptions that receivers have had their hands on. So what does that look like in practice? How is that emphasized? What, what have you seen in that area um, since the last game? Yeah, so just attacking the ball, uh, you know, it's, it's either ours or nobody's. And it's just as simple as that. What have you seen from Purdue's defense and the challenge that they present? Uh, yeah, they play a, um, a lot of man, mixing some zones. So, I mean, at the end of the day, we're going to take what the defense gives us and, uh, you know, attack their leverages, attack their coverages, just be us. Teams have run it well on Purdue. I mean, how, how important is the blocking element for you guys on the perimeter this week to kind of help set up some runs? Yeah, it's extremely important. Uh, I think in, in any game, you know, the perimeter blocking is key. Um, you know, that's how uh, you break those big time runs. It uh, really has to do with perimeter blocking, those DBs and safeties, uh, you know, those that last line of defense. Um, so that's going to be huge. Have you found that road games can be really good for team building? It's just you guys going out together and trying to do, get something done. Yeah, we excited to go on the road. We go a lot. Like we we've been here for four weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to just take a bus to the airport with the guys. Like get on the plane, be in a different hotel, different city. So yeah, that's that's going to play a, a big part in the bonding. After the game, I mean. Dylan played a good game, but he was hard on himself just about that one throw. Like, mm -hmm. what's that say to you as a you know veteran guy when you see the the young quarterback taking it on himself like that already? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, I, I like I said, I see him as a, a reflection of myself, and so I know exactly how he feel. I know exactly, um, you know, the, the type of emotions he's feeling, and so we all kind of um, you know had that mindset to you know kind of like a perfectionist, but knowing that we are perfectly imperfect and. You know, all we got to do is uh, is just to, to be able to learn from it and then move on, um, and you'll be successful. Thanks, sure. Thank you.